okay hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and uh let me just refresh this page because really something wrong um all right let me do this again i'm actually trying to set up uh an nvidia site oh wow Um, I think, okay, let's just wait and see. Actually, what I wanted to show you guys was like, I was, I was, I signed up on a NVIDIA challenge and I was trying to like put my display name and they're requesting for my date of birth. And why trying to do that? The impute field validation check was just off the hook. I actually recorded it. But because it got caught on the way by the recorder I'm using because I'm not using a paid version and came back to the site and it's just saying that not found. Well, let's see. I'm trying to do the check to see if they will take me back to the site. Or do I need to just come back here and do view catalog? Um, okay, I think this is it. Uh, let's go back again. Oh, yeah, I need to type a code. Uh, just a minute. All right. Okay, let's start. Hi, guys. Um, I signed up on NVIDIA platform and they have like this data analytics and data science um challenge and uh um i registered for it i want to like participate in the challenge so and they brought me here while i was trying to view the catalog like their video course catalog and he's asking me to put my name and date of birth right now one funny thing happened i tried it the first time this is the second time i try and i want to do it again when i type at first i was i was trying to use this right and it's already telling me that oh validation well, check then now it's taking me out, right? If I take it out and, and I type something different, just watch. Um, let me do this. This is gonna be 05, right? I come here and I say Sergio. You see, it's telling me that the name is available because it's showing green here, right? If this name is not available, it's not gonna show me green because that's the way the behavior is started uh giving me right now when i click on save and continue it now come back and tell me that this name is not available but in the first place where well, while i was typing the sajo it it gives me this green is it that you they're not making the api call to the back end to like do the validation or maybe the front end person don't like keep making those requests that's the reason why we have the bounce you just write a um a function that will delay the, the way you type in because the way you type is probably too fast and it, it keeps hitting the server right and it causes performance issue you probably just write the debounce function that will delay um whatever text that is capturing and gets like if text that makes sense and send it to the back end that's like basically how the whole thing works right maybe i'll have to like do a new video that talks about how debounce work and like just show you what debounce really is all about but like the the only thing i have is, i know it's a little kind of thing that one can just look at it and say no this is like just a little thing right but like the u.s experience nvidia is like a big company right and in my head i'm like thinking like oh the validation check is going to be like dope but coming to see how they allow you to type it and they're telling you giving you this checkbox and when you click it it now says that the name is not available why in the first place do you allow me to type and you validated it is it like you're not checking case or what exactly is actually happening here um i feel like this should be better i should have like a good user experience right because i write front end and i when i see other front end that people write i i try to like think about what was the idea behind writing this thing like this like this is basically uh input validation right and i felt like they can actually do better uh or maybe the work was not properly qa it depends right this is just my opinion and i saw it and i felt like i need to share it with you guys and also talk about how input validation 
uh, should be done, right? As a front-end engineer, if you know you're not making API call to the back-end, there's no point of you trying to tell me that, oh, this thing is valid. Or is it that you are checking the word? You're not checking the name to the back-end. You're just checking if it's a valid word. Uh, or what exactly are you checking? See, probably, I don't think that's the case because if I'm putting a space in between it and it's allowing me, then probably it's not a word it's checking, right? As to be a display, or maybe I'll allow words with um uh, like a a more than two words or three, four, five words. That's the reason why this is showing great. I feel like it should be a better way to like validate this impute field. It's gonna be a display name, it's not supposed to be like multiple names, right? It should be like one single name, and the validation should be like swift. Well, this is just my opinion, and I feel like I should share it with you guys. And I hope that we write good front end and that has good user experience. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you've learned something. I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.